Okay, one of the nice things about having the iPads is the fact that you can change things up from time to time. And, you know, instead of writing on a piece of paper, you can have people write on the iPad and submit stuff that way. Um, there's several apps that we can talk about. I'm going to talk about two of them at least and show you one of them. Uh, these two right here, we've got Doodle Buddy and Edu Creations. Um, both of them have the ability to create accounts so you can save things. Edu Creations is pretty limited until you sign up with an account. Now, that's going to create some issues with us with students under 13 and being able to decide what we're going to do about um, setting up accounts. There are some ways that you can use that, though, as literally just a whiteboard until then. But really, for that purpose, Doodle Buddy uh, is probably a little bit easier to work with and, and manage uh, in that regard. So let's take a look at Doodle Buddy here. And right now what I've got is a uh, picture that my daughter's created. So one of the options that I have over here to save that is going to be Save to Photo Album. Now when I click on that right now and then I, it disappears, when I come back into Photos, I want to show this so that maybe you can remember this for other apps as it comes up. When I go into my Photos here, I don't see that anywhere. If I click in my camera roll, I've only got those two images. So what I'll find out then if I come back into Doodle Buddy is if I was to look here at Photos, I notice it says this app does not have access to your photos or videos and that you can enable that access in your privacy settings. So to do that, what I would need to do is come back in here to the settings and there's a privacy tab right here. I can click on that and this shows all the things that I've given access to my photo album. And I've got Doodle Buddy right here and I can see that I've got that turned off so that I could demonstrate this process also. So if I turn that back on and now I go back into Doodle Buddy and I want to save this, I can now say, all right, save that to photo album. It says your drawing has been saved to your iPad's photo album. I say, okay. I can come back here and look. I go into photos. And sure enough, here I can see that my Doodle Buddy image has been saved. So how does this come in handy during a class setting? Well, I think there's lots of ways that you could use this. We could come back in here in Doodle Buddy, and I'm going to create a new page here. So I'm, so I'm going to go ahead and clear off everything that I have here. I can click on this little icon down here in the bottom left-hand corner and ask me if I want to clear it. I say yes. And now at this point it becomes a whiteboard. So I have students working on math problems. I wanted to go ahead and do 4 plus 2, which that pen is pretty thick. I could come down here to the chalk tool. I can move that down so that I get a thinner deal. I can change it from chalk to glitter to smudge to an eraser or to a brush. I'm going to go ahead and use a brush instead this time. And I could say 4 plus 2 equals 6. And I might also want to show my teacher that I know that 3 times uh, 4 equals 12 because I'm a really smart student. And now I want to go ahead and share that with them. So I click on that. I say save the photo album. OK. We do a new problem. So I go back in and clear this out. And the next problem was 7 plus 3 equals 14. And then I find out, no, that was wrong. The teacher came by and helped me. So I take that off. I say 7 plus 3 equals 10. I'm excited now and proud of myself for getting that right. So I'm going to go back and save that to the photo album also. Now later on, I want to go ahead and upload that to a schoolwork assignment that my teachers created for me. I can do that from my camera roll, just like I showed in another video. Or I just want to be able to show them the teacher as they walk by that I really did do the work as we were working on things. And that teacher can then look at my uh, look at my slideshow, so to speak, or look at my files and see that I've gone ahead and done that work. And it's safe for later. It's safe for any time I need to get that back to them. So anyway, hopefully you find a way that you can use Doodle Buddy in your class.